I can honestly say with mixed martial arts when I first started about five and a half, six years ago, I did not know not one thing. It was nerve wracking, I'm not gonna lie. Um, getting ready for the fight, I was excited because, you know, I was, this is the game plan, this is what you're gonna do. So I got in the cage and, you know, they locked the cage and I was like, he's like, are you ready? Are you ready? And I was like, okay, cool, I'm ready. And I was like, why am I not moving? So the guy walked across the ring, threw a jab. I had a slight flash knockout. I came to, and pretty much everything they taught me went out the window. I'm working a full-time job and I'm training full-time. It was like a little breaking point for me at one time. I looked at my training, I was like, man, I don't think I want to do this. And he was like, why? Like, man, because, I mean, I don't know how much money I'm going to make with this. I don't know what I'm doing right now. He just, I don't know where he's just going to go. Like, physically exhausted, and I'm mentally exhausted, because the place I was working at is a juvenile center with kids. And I just looked at him. He was like, how far do you think I can make it? He just looked at me. He was like, you can be the UFC champ. I was like, okay, that's all I needed to hear. Coming from Haiti. My parents wasn't educated at all. They just came over here to make a better way of living for their kids. And I was born in Miami, Florida, and the part of Miami we stayed in was Little Haiti. Just growing up, we lived probably a mile away from the school, but we also had to have transportation just because the neighborhood was that bad. But over time, it got worse, and my dad was like, I can't bring up my kids in this environment, so he uh, moved to Immokalee. Immokalee for me is home. I would say I'm a mama's boy, but I still have a real good bond with my mom. My mom, she can't watch the fight. She had her eyes covered the whole time. Uh -huh. And uh, my sister-in-law was like, oh, he's doing good, he's doing good. And she opened her eyes, get him, get him, get him. And she said, if she sees something that happens and I'm in a, I end up in a bad spot, a bad position, she was like, no, 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 no. She cover her eyes back up. I love to work out, and I'm not gonna lie. I mean, as much as I love football, like once it comes to physically exerting your body, pushing your body to the limit, uh, it, it like trumps football. Like it's crazy. Mm -hmm. Football, play anywhere from five to, I don't know, from five to eight seconds. And then after that you get a 30 second rest. MMA is not like that. It's basically 15 minutes of period. Of Even during my pro career, at one point in time, I thought I was, I thought I was going to quit. You know, I ended up losing my fights by decision. And I told myself, you know what? Uh, man, I maybe I should quit. I remember I went to bed. I prayed about it. Woke mm -hmm. up the next day and I was like, just give it one more shot. One more year. When I gave it that one more shot, I remember I fought February. Of, what was it? February 2010. Knocked my guy in the first, out in the first round in uh, February. Knocked my guy out in the first round in April. July of 2010, I fought a guy who fought three times in the UFC, and they flew me up to Alberta, Canada to fight him. They brought me in to get beat. You know, I'm in the cage, and I'm the main event in the last fight of the night. And I remember the promoter's wife was telling me, she said she was walking in some hills all day. So mm -hmm. she sat back, looked down, kicked the hill off her feet, and she looked back up. And she, my hand was getting raised. She was like, what happened? And it was like, he just got knocked out. She was like, how? That's, that's impossible. The fight just started. <laughs> so I knocked him out in eight seconds. Vince wants to be the best. Mm -hmm. And that sounds very cliche. But Vince wants to be the best in the best possible way. Mm -hmm. And he's just decided he wants to be really good. I know there's one goal, probably. Be the, be the champ. Be the champ. Be the champ.